Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan, and in this video, we're going to be building that. And yeah, I'm building a computer. I built my last one, it had some issues because I don't know a whole lot about overclocking and stuff. So I'm pretty much gonna be doing the basics with this one, but I wanna post a build on my channel, even though it's not something that I'm going to be doing like regularly, um, it's just gonna be fun. Plus, I'm filming the whole entire thing with the RX100 Mark V, and I wanna give you guys some sample footage of like how you can use this camera whether it's to film your YouTube videos or to vlog, it's a great little camera and it's very capable. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into this build. Right, guys so it's been a couple days and i finished the build um, i started to record some footage during the process of building the computer but the rx100 mark 5 battery life sucks balls um, i could have hooked up an external battery to it and that would have fixed the problem but i guess more for convenience purposes i didn't do that so the case that i went with is the fantex evolve atx case and i love this thing it's gorgeous it looks absolutely phenomenal sitting on my desktop i didn't get the tempered glass version because i figured that's for people that are really good at cable management whereas i am not so the motherboard that i went with is the gigabyte design nair motherboard now this is for the x99 chipset i saw it on hardware canucks and i knew that if they're using it for their personal build, then this thing has got to be awesome. So I picked it up and I have not been disappointed yet. So moving forward, I have 128 gigs of RAM in this beast. And I went with the Crucial Ballistic Sport LT model in gray. It matches the color scheme and it runs flawlessly. Now I could have went with a higher clock RAM, but I wanted to actually stick to the limit that my CPU is capable of to avoid any complications i stuck to the basics and the machine is running great so the cpu that i went with is the 6950x which i had in my previous build and it's an absolute beast of a chipset it's capable of being overclocked to higher than four gigahertz easily plus it's a 10 core cpu and that is amazing now because i do know this chipset does get hot quite quickly i have a corsair 115i all-in-one water cooling system to keep it chill and keep those temperatures nice and low. In terms of storage, I have a Samsung 950 NVMe Evo Pro um, that I use for my operating system and for my applications. And then I have two Evo Pro 850s that are one terabyte each in RAID 0 configuration for the files that I'm currently working on. And then I have a four terabyte hard disk drive for my backups, as well as the files that I'm not currently working on. Now finally we've come to my GPUs which are my favorite part of my build and I have two Titan XP's in SLI and they are just beastly. There's nothing that I've thrown at these GPUs that they haven't been capable of whether it was After Effects, Premiere or DaVinci Resolve renders or gaming. They are very capable and they are very future proof. Well guys I'm sure you didn't chime into this video just to hear me talk about this machine. Let's go ahead and run some benchmarks starting with the Valley benchmark test. Now this test is in the highest settings and it's running on a 4K monitor and you can see the results right here. Next up, we have the Fire Strike Ultra test, again, running at the highest settings, and you can see the results of this test right here. And you can see that I am in the 99th percentile, which is awesome. Now, if you wanna see some real world testing and some further benchmarks, that's cool. Just drop me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and we'll go ahead and do a separate video just on benchmarks and testing. Well guys, that's it. This entire video, again, to remind you, was shot with the RX100 Mark V, and it was a pretty terrible experience. The overheating and battery life just killed that camera. I can't recommend it. But the build came out great. Make sure you stay tuned for a full setup tour, which is coming. I'm just not quite ready for it yet. If you guys enjoyed it, drop me a big thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media platforms. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be easy.